In season two of Outlander, Jamie and Claire Frazier enter the opulent high society of 1740s Paris. We can infiltrate the Jacobite movement and find a way to disrupt their plans. Their fancy Parisian costumes allow them to blend in with the French aristocrats, covering up their scheme. But look closer. Not all is concealed. Claire's 18th century clothing reveals her even deeper secret that she's a time traveler from the 1940s. You're the one from the future. And it's not just Claire who's from the future. The show's costume designer, Terry Dressbach, drew inspiration from the couture fashions of the 1940s and 50s, particularly Christian Dior. In 1947, Christian Dior unveiled his revolutionary new fashion line, commonly referred to as the new look, featuring slightly raised hemlines, a full skirt, rounded shoulders, and a cinched waist, drawing from the fashions of 18th century Europe, the very time and place that Claire's inhabiting for most of season two. Like Claire herself, the new look stripped bare all the frills and fuss of 18th century fashions to create a clean, modern silhouette. Christian Dior's iconic bar suit epitomizes the new look. It revolutionized fashion, inspired countless other designers. Museums exhibit it. So famous, even Barbie has one of her very own. And so does Claire. The modified bar suit bridges the past and future, cluing us in that Claire is from the same future decade that inspired her costumes. It's as if Claire is bringing the new look to her by reinterpreting 18th century fashions to adapt to her modern sensibilities. The rest of Claire's outfits in Paris also draw inspiration from future famous designers of the 1940s, such as Balmain, Balenciaga, and of course Dior. The red dress that Claire wears to her first party at Versailles is particularly stunning and particularly out of place. Are you mad, woman? It's inspired by the red hues of Christian Dior's new look. The dress helps Jamie and Claire succeed in catching the attention of the French court, especially King Louis. An elegantly simple dress, it sparkles like a brilliant ruby amidst a frothy, frilly sea of French courtiers and hints at Claire's separateness. It also foreshadows Jamie's ruby ring that Claire wears to travel back through the stones. Dressbach intentionally designed Claire's costumes to make her look a bit out of place, exposing that she doesn't quite fit seamlessly into the world around her. Dressbach explains that Claire should always be a beautiful fish out of water, a little bit alien, a stranger in a strange land. Regardless of the time period or what she's wearing, she's always Claire a modern woman of the 20th century. Her dresses reinforce this message, displaying the truth for those paying close enough attention. Could cover up a bit. Well, I already thought of that. You're gonna need a larger fan. <laughs> <laughs>